All right, welcome back to another episode of Sea of Stars. I say as a cloud just completely blocks my view. Anyways, uh, today we're going to go ahead and head into the Mossy Cache. Hopefully there's not too much here that we need to deal with. We can just get the Vial of Time and then just, you know, leave. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, it's a ro oh, it's a rotation puzzle. Okay. I mean, that's even easier. I thought it would be one of those swap puzzles, but, uh, okay. That's a frog? Oh, there we go. Nice. Simple enough. Let's grab this and get out. It's not gonna be this easy, is it? Got the vial of time. This is it. Let's take it to Rishon. Let's do that. Oh, that's it? No interruptions? Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I was 100% expecting someone to intervene. Like, one, two, three, four intervening again. But I guess it is that easy, huh? Okay, we'll just head back this way. Just teleport back to the archives. I guess we did just fight the dweller, so that makes sense, I guess. Rashawn, we have your vial. It appears you do, but we should make sure it is not an imitation. Garl! Would you so kindly throw it at the wall? I... Uh, with all your strength. Won't it break? I hope so. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Whoa. A vial of time. Oh, how I've missed you. Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You have shown much bravery. You better hold up your end of the bargain now. No more errands. Oh, make no mistake. I am coming with you. Uh, what? I thought you said you can't help. But my code is strict, so there are rules. First, I may assist in battle, but it is not my place to win it for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Wait, you're really going to... Next! No one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. You are re to refer to me exclusively as Rashan, and most importantly, never as the Immortal Alchemist. You got it. Might want to be extra careful around Teeks, though. Fair, although I feel like she might figure it out regardless. Lastly, and most importantly... I am, under no circumstances, allowed to fight a Dweller. If a confrontation occurs with the Dweller of Strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Fair, fair, understood. Shall we go then? Uh, Rashawn? Yes? You can't come like this. Your robes are all tattered. Oh. If you don't want people to know you're immortal, maybe... Clothes that haven't been decaying for a millennia aren't a safe bet. Huh. Fair enough. Okay. That works. Better. Then lead the way. Misa Island is on the northeast. The one with the giant stone head. Uh-huh. Can I use the teleport pads? Oh, okay. We're just... Fast traveling to the Vespertine. Okay, that works. It's nice to meet you, Teeks. I am also a traveler of sorts. Rashan, huh? So you make potions? You could say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. Uh, 
I see. Don't worry, I won't tell. Would you mind, though? If you promise not to tell of my true identity, you can have my story, yes. I promise. Just stand still for one second here and... Oh, nice. We've got a new story. Thanks. Hey, we were just wondering what to do with the glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. Oh. Can we plant and get resources? Ocean guys, welcome to stay, of course. Miss Island, eh? That's where we're headed. Hey, that'd be roughly to the north of there. Big stone head, can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just enter the boat first. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, let's check out what they mean by the greenhouse. This island is to the northeast. The one with the giant stone head. Aw, uh, so I can't actually, like, do anything else with it? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yolande is the best boss. Ah, huh, is she now? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll... Yep. We got all the supplies we need. I wonder if there's any, like, changes in dialogue. I don't think anyone's up there. Uh, so we'll come down here. I don't trust the alchemist yet. I mean, fair, I guess. Uh-huh. How are we doing, Zale? Misa Island, finally. Garl? So Rashawn's an immortal, huh? Oh, right. Shh. Ah, classic Garl. Anyways, um, Teeks, do you have a new story for us? Aha! Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Ephoral set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, a foral grow increasingly jealous of the ephemerality that he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy. A journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, blood, flesh, and bone alike. As fate would have it, a furl fully embraced evil and emerged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world of his monstrous creations. Rashan tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. After much struggle, Rishon discovered the flesh minions' only weaknesses to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the Fleshmancer's creations. But a feral's knowledge was also growing, Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities with unlimited power known as Dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic, except during a total eclipse, when Solstice Warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And Dwellers, it turns out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into World Eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. If they remained vigilant, they would never be a world eater. But Rishan knew that such a stalemate would only cause a foral to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rishan boldly performed transmutation al alchemy 
on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Archivist. On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog all possible outcomes in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, a foe rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that had opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of, game of Cat and Mouse began, played by dwellers and solstice warriors on one level, and by Rachan and Aforo on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over numerous centuries, some worlds were never visited by Aforo, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until the world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world leader or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors into guardian gods. As, when, as to when Rashan plans to recompose the timelines, or whether he even knows how, remains to be seen. The end. Interesting. So Rashawn is just here to kind of chill out. Uh-huh. Oh. We have some new music sheets. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, I guess that's where we can uh, get more music. I do like the animation of how Hortense uh, spawns in. Oh, uh, let's also check out the parrot here. Okay, uh, it says nothing, so I guess that means I haven't missed any treasures yet. Alright, uh, I guess we're heading off to Misa Island. Um, I don't think there's too much backtracking we can do. We already have the... Um, oh, that's uh, not the right island. Uh, we'll just go ahead and just go straight to Misa Island. Oh, hang on, just stop, stop, stop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Misa Hike. Okay. Oh, uh, let's also check out Rashawn. He's relatively tanky, decent amount of mana. Uh... Let me check his skills. Oh, he does have an ultimate. He can do poison as his ultimate. Predator soothing mist heals the party. Ah, an AoE heal. Nice. Um, removes a random lock on the target. Plus one lock if you time it right. Okay. Deals arcane damage while pulling enemies together. Okay, so it we can group enemies up for uh our other enemies. Okay. Here we go, Rashan. Do your thing. Now. A hundred and fifty years to do it. Okay. Hello there. Good morning, Kukar. Master. Have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend you on your dedication. Thank you, Master. The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter. A fool left a long time ago and his acolytes have lost most of their power. It will not happen again anytime soon. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Uh. Oh, okay. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, friend. Can you help us in any way? 
my main duty is to hold Misa Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, friend. Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Oh, surely that you know there is of the evil castle that sits there. It is no place to send a friend. That's still where we are headed. I will not send friends into danger. I refuse. Uh-huh, what did you just do? Good morning, Kukar. Master, have you come to check on my work? Oh, did you just... Uh-huh. Try again. Oh, just same thing? Please. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, adventurer. Have you met my brothers, Extol and Yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail into my mouth and choose a destination. Huh. Okay. Cool. Alright. That's the barrier gone. Alright, thank you, Kukar. Uh, also, thanks for the fast travel option of sailing into your mouth. There it is. Thanks, Kukar. Naturally. Stay safe. Safe travels, adventurers. Up we go, then. Lead the way. Alright, let's do this. Okay. I wonder if this is going to just take us straight to the world map or if uh, there's going to be a section beforehand. Nope. Okay, world map. Got it. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything here. Autumn Hills. Looks like this will be the uh, dungeon for today. Uh, certainly feels like it. Okay, there's enemies. Just like... Spinning around over there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. We'll see what Rashawn can do. Ah, I forgot to, uh, wrong button. There we go. Um. Talk, huh? We'll start with, uh, this. Okay, that didn't do much, but it did something. Okay, 32 damage on a block is still kind of high. Let's see if it's weak to magic. Oh yeah, it's not weak to it, but it's certainly okay. Okay, it's weak to you though. Um, actually no, I want... Uh, I want Zale to get some more MP back. Let's do this. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Um. I wonder which way is the correct way. Aha, up is the correct way. Oaken armor. Okay, I can put that on you. That's plus 19. Okay, we'll do that. Although I should probably... Uh, actually, yeah. It, it's been a while since I've updated Zale's armor. I might as well. Also, yeah, I do need to uh, get Rashawn. Okay. We'll just do these two. Oh! I, d I never put a cornucopia on anyone. Party max HP up is really good. I totally forgot about that one. Okay. Cool. Um, let's keep going.
Oh, uh, okay. Attack. Um, okay, Valir can just go ahead and just end this one first. Nice. Um... Let's just try Abiance. I just want to see how it works. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I thought I missed that block, but I guess that was fine. Um, Zale, go ahead and just normal attack. Okay, that is enough. Valir, triple boost. Okay, not bad. Uh, Rashawn, finish it off. Nice. Okay. I wonder when I... I honestly wonder when I can uh, get Rashawn's uh, thing. Like, do I press it on... Um, do I press it on his throw or do I press it on his attack? Hmm. Guess we'll have to just experiment, figure it out. Oh, great. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, what is this one for then, the upper one? Okay, I guess we, we can't really access it yet. We'll come back. Oh, actually, one second. Aha! I knew it. Almost forgot about the uh, fact that I can blow the leaves away. Aha! Combo move. Valir and Rashan, Arcane Moons. Um... One cost for moon and I'm gonna call it magic. One moon and magic for one cost. Arcane and oh arcane, okay. Arcane is what it's called. Got it. Okay, um well, Zale will have to end that for now, and I wish I could just arcane magic that, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we don't have enough for a combo. Okay, that was a decent block. Um, let's see, let me go ahead and just crescent arc this then. Don't lower the power of that one a little bit. Mirror attack. Okay, I need to block, block, block. There's a pattern there. Um, swapping you for Garl, so Garl can, uh, not let this one attack. Okay. Um. Could Arcade Moon now, that will be kind of interesting. Um, I think we take care of this Grassassin. Yeah, we finish this one off first. Okay, I thought there was... Okay, whew. Um, I'm gonna dash strike. That should deal good damage to all of them. Okay, that's solid. I didn't press it in time. Uh, okay, they're all basically dead. We finish this one off first. Just one? Okay. Um, then what I'll do... Swap. Uh, I don't want, really want to swap, though. Um... Okay, we'll nourish yourself. 
Or wait, sorry, no, nourish. No, okay, what I'll do is lunar shield. Don't give me a little bit of healing. It'll protect me from whatever move it's about to use, which is just a dash. No problem there. We'll combo heal. Garl can swap over to Rashawn, who can attack for uh, MP. Nice, okay. That'll do. That'll do. Not ideal, but it's fine. Oh, there's a merchant there. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, we'll buy the music sheet, I guess. Um, okay, I should grab both of these. That's uh, 240 something. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, equip that. We'll sell this, that's fine. And we'll also just equip that. Sell the... Okay, I do want to sell some of my other stuff here. Um... Yeah, OCS staff, we can sell that. Silver daggers, sure. Um, the damage dealt by undead, 10%, is nice. Uh, we'll take rid of the calcite lid. Uh, coral daggers, I think I can just get rid of. Yeah. Um, we'll just sell a bunch of these not needed anymore. I'll keep the Mage Knight though, but everything else, yeah, it's just worse. Yeah, I mean, no reason to keep it, honestly. Solstice Sash. Okay, we should be good. Oh, I can sell a bunch of red berries too. Okay. Okay, the presence of a merchant is generally indicates a sort of fight coming up. Um, we're kind of full health. So I'm not super concerned in terms of uh, power-wise. Okay, um, this is kind of annoying. Uh, let me switch. Rashawn, you're swapping to you, Venom Flurry. Okay, we at least stopped that one. Ah, uh, didn't do it in time. Okay, uh... We'll swap you for Rashawn. Who can abiance On you. Oh, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, Valir, you just normal attack this one. Okay. Uh, oh, they're all about to get to move. Okay. Um, should I try Arcane Moons? Oh, might be a good time to try it, actually. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's solid. Ah, missed the timing. Um, I just attack it. We're fine. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to somehow climb up and fly on that, don't I? Okay. Interesting. So I come up here. Okay, okay, okay. Um... How do I get back up? 
Oh, okay. I, oh, that that looks a lot steeper than it actually is, I guess. Okay. I see. I have to do this. Oh. Oh, I see. Yep, it's a pushable block. I want to push it all the way to this side first so that I can grab the chest. Maple cork. I assume that's for Rashan. Oh, nice solid. A bit of uh, damage up. Push that up, push that up, and probably a little bit over. Nice, okay. Uh, this 100% looks like something we can climb. Probably intentionally so. Yep, okay, we climb up here. Yep, okay, we have to climb it. Got it. This is such a cool exploration like place. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, don't do that. Um... There we go. I see a rainbow conch hiding there. Need to head back to Dokari village at some point and get the stuff that I need for that. Also need to head back to the village actually because I haven't been back there since uh, I got all the uh, blueprints. I haven't been back there yet. Alright, let's keep going. Three enemies, huh? Oh, uh, that's a lot more enemies than I was expecting. Rashawn, can you put them, pull them together, please? Yeah, let's do it this side. Okay. There's gonna be a bunch of attacks happening here. Ah, not fast enough. Okay, that was fine. Um. Ow. Okay, um. Moonerang would actually probably be okay here, but I think Crescent Arc would do better. Okay, that's solid damage. This is gonna hurt, though. Okay, that's fine. Ow. Okay, we need uh, healing. Desperately. Uh, I could item. Moon Cradle Fish Pie sounds about good, actually. It'll also get me some MP. Let's do it. Too slow. Okay, uh, we don't have enough combo to stop that one with Arcane Moons. I'm thinking just Crescent Arc again. Should be enough to at least KO three of them. Okay, good. Okay, uh, block, block, block. Okay, got some blocks off. Um, do that. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, this is actually not ideal, but It'll be okay, I think. Oh, because I want to combo heal, but I want Sarai out for the combo heal. Okay, fine. Do that. Oh, that... I messed up. I forgot that I shouldn't attack there. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, I just have to hope there's a heal spot before anything bad happens. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Are we? We're still underwater, I guess. Recipe for parfait. Okay. All right. We'll need to uh, dive. Please, thank you. Go back up here. Okay, and that brings us to that this area. Got it. Okay, so we come here first to uh, get the uh, fast travel point. Or a shortcut, I guess. Um. Oh, this sucks. I mean, it could be okay. I can't take Valir out, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, I didn't even... Okay, uh, well, actually, we need Sarai now, which... This is gonna be scary. Okay, at least we stopped that one. Okay, um, let's try to see if you can sunball both of these to oblivion. If Sarai gets knocked out, she gets knocked out. We'll be okay. Nice, okay. Um, just attack for some healing. Zale, attack for healing. MP heal specifically. Okay, we're doing kind of okay. A little scary, but uh, things could be worse. Things could be worse. Okay. Um. Nothing on this way. Okay. Let's come on this side. More caves. Man, this is such a long dungeon. Okay. Ah. Uh, Ah, great. There's more of these things. Um, okay, Sarai, you're probably going to go down here. It's unfortunate, but it's kind of how it is. At least stop that one from attacking. Okay. That's solid damage. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, can this be enough? Okay, it is. Barely, but it is. Zale, uh, finish this one off. Nice. Valir, no, not Valir, sorry. Sarai. It's vulnerable to you, so... Nice, okay. Okay, okay. We're making it work. We are making this work somehow. Okay, how many of them? Three of them. One of them is gonna attack me no matter what. Let's go ahead and just swap you for uh, Rashawn for now. Uh, Rashawn can at least tank a hit. I'll stop this one. Ah, didn't get the timing. Uh, Valir. Should be enough. Okay, it is. Good. If I can get this timing... Ah, too early. Okay, um... Unfortunately... Oh, I can swap. Sarai can stop this one. Um, I could do this. Eb would actually do good here, but I think what I'll just do is have Sarai Venom Flurry again. Ooh. 
because I think this should be enough to get rid of the uh, of the little guy. Yes, okay, it is. Um, perfect. I can finally combo Mending Light here. And Valir can... Actually, Valir, I want you to swap. Um... Oh, that's 12 MP, though. Okay, so this will do that. That's fine. Uh... Okay, I'll do this and I'll uh, item. Just use Chaudre on her because Sarai is one of one of my like necessary uh, people for this dungeon in particular. Some onions and potatoes. All right. Oh, I wonder what this is for. Maybe for jumping back down, I guess. Let's keep going. Oh, nice. Look at that. The castle in the background. And here's a rest stop. Okay, so let me just go ahead and cook and... Yeah, okay. Uh, this is the way back down. Let me just cook and rest and do all that. I will be right back. Alright, we are back. I rested and uh, it turns out that the sun basically covers the whole thing once you rest. Uh, I think it also was just like an exact 12 hours difference or something. Alright, uh, given that rest stop right there, I'm expecting a fight. Oh yeah, here we go. What is this? Who are you? When the moon shines bright on the autumn sheaves, I assume he's singing this, comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. Uh huh. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, can I please... There we go. Okay. Oh, and, and you fight me. Got it. Um, well... Let me just swap instantly for Rashawn who can uh, do this. Did I time that right? I did time that right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm doing any damage though. Yeah, no damage whatsoever. Throw leaves. Oh, I see. Now can I attack it? Well, let's just go with my strongest attack. Triple boosted sunball. Okay, 156. That's not too bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, let's swap back to you, Valir. Okay. Oh, and the leaves come back. Okay, okay. I need to time it so that... Okay, okay. Got it. Um, I assume right now I can't really do anything. So I'll just use uh, Zeal. Uh, yeah, Rashawn gets some MP back. Yeah, it does no damage. That's fine. Okay. 
I guess I just need, need to wait for it to throw leaves again. Okay, that's a good block. Um... Uh, this is bad because uh, I can't do anything to stop that one, so we'll just have Sarai's single boost lower its damage a little bit. Oh, it's going... Okay. I see. Okay. Um, we'll swap you out. Valir, Valir's normal attacks hit the hardest, so... Zale, triple boost, sunball as usual. Hundred fifty-seven again. Okay, good block, good block. Um, let's swap you for Garl, who can nourish here. Um, well, this kind of sucks, but we can dash strike and break it. It just means that we won't have any boosting. Or, well, Zale won't have much uh, MP, but that's fine. Oh, it's okay. Ah, too early. Okay, so unfortunately, Zale has no MP for Sun this time. That's okay. Uh, I can Moonerang here. Oh, I should have boosted. Forgot to boost. Got this. Nice, 172. Good block on the way back. It's almost down, I think. Uh, let's swap you back to Rishal, who is gonna use Petrachor to heal. Nice. Uh, let's have Zale get MP back. What are you gonna do? Okay, we're doing that. That's fine. Um, Rashawn can just normal attack here, break it. Um... We're just getting MP back, that's all I want. Okay, here we go. Throw leaves. Ah, I think it's fine. Okay. Uh. I have triple boost, Moonerang. If it does, if it doesn't die, I'm gonna use uh, um, Rishal's ultimate. But I'm expecting it to die here. There we go, yep. Nice. Easy, okay. Well, uh, I'm actually gonna end this part there. That feels like a good stopping point. I'm gonna go back and uh, re-heal my team. Uh, but we'll stop there for now. There might be more dungeon. It might be the world map. But uh, that feels like a pretty decent place to end it for today. Uh, so, yeah. Next time, we'll just continue through this Autumn Hills. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Autumn Hills. And I will catch you all next time.